Hello, and welcome to the conclusion to the most epic event in all of media, Total Epic Island. As I had just alluded to, this is part two of a video I released already, so if you haven't seen that one, you kind of have to to understand anything that's going on. It's pretty much required viewing to understand this one. So if you haven't watched it, just pause this video, open up a second tab, find this first video, watch it, then come back to your tab with this video pause and then unpause it because if you close this tab my viewer retention is going to tank and you're going to end up being one of three people who have ever seen this video with the other two being me and my co-host Simon Malik. So, have you watched the first one now? No? You didn't care enough? Okay, well have fun being lost because I'm picking up right where we left off last time without explaining the rules again. Okay, have fun. We can split this team into two and it went... God, that's so, that's so dumb. Okay, Squidward, Hatred. yeah, they hate each other, Hatred. but I think it's the only... Okay, yeah. yeah the only like, hatred they have. Pony, Pony is only mildly liked, but the only hatreds are Drake and Squidward. Everyone else has, yeah. an, has an okay enough relationship. Unbreakable, 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 oh. Oh. unbreakable, 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 holy... Joe! Holy crap! <laughs> Joe was holding... There's only one oh. hatred now. What really? was Joe doing to this team? He was like, he's like feeding false information in their head. Literally. Like, what the hell? Master Chief's boot camp. Teams are forced into a boot camp ran by Shep, who has asked to be addressed as Master Chief for the occasion. Campers oh, must follow... Master Chief? Yeah. Master Chief, pay yeah. Well. yeah, yeah. Campers must follow every rule and command given by Master Chief, whose goal is to make sure everyone drops out of his boot camp. If a camper wants to drop out of the boot camp, they must walk the dock of unepicness and ring the bell. The camper who remains in Master Chief's boot camp the longest wins invincibility for their team. Foreman Pig drops out. Seven left for the epic pass. Miku drops out. They're down to six. Of course, Squidward drops yeah. out, meaning they're down to three. Pony, Pony. drops out. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Mio is well, the last one left. Happening. Mio is the last one left on the screaming epics. Let's see if she can pull through. Blue is, oh. Blue is out. Shrimple is oh. out. Minion oh. is out. Two chairs oh. is out. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's Mio versus... Mio versus who? Doofenshmirtz? Yeah, I think so, actually. Yeah. Okay. And Mio drops out. <laughs> There's gonna be three people left on this team! <laughs> the Epic Bass win invincibility. Oh! Whoa, I was gonna was say... Drake. Yeah. I was gonna say it might be Squidward, but no. That seals the deal for Drake. Yep. Eight. Eight. That's literally it. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's over. People like it's Squidward. Uh, oh, oh, okay, never mind. Me. Okay. Me. <laughs> <laughs> out. Just when we thought they were getting along. Three marshmallows. Pony, Pony and Mio, and then yeah. Squidward and Drake. Pony and Mio are, of course, safe as per usual. Yep. And then it's gonna be uh, Drake versus Squidward. The per last person safe is. Drake! Oh. Squidward is out! Drake, Drake is hanging on by like a little thread. thread. The final rend of the is gone. You, you know what? This might be the dream trio now. I, yeah. I think it might be Kony Drake Mio. I'm talking about Drake surprise, has survived this one. He's like, Me this too. Bottom through every single round. <laughs> Literally. If, I mean, next next round, Drake is so done if they lose again. Alright, nine strip. <laughs> Oh, it's over. Oh, okay, yeah, over no, they have their own alliance together. It's so over for Drake. Everyone's cool. Yeah, there's each other. If you, Other yeah, than Drake. No, Drake is just a slight bot. Like, they're still cool, but, like, if it... I think it's, like, unfortunately... Oh, wait, no, no, no. Pony likes Drake. Oh. But Drake doesn't like Pony back. And, yeah. So that uh, means... Pony doesn't know... Pony and Mio both really like Drake. So it's a toss-up on who's eliminated then. Unbreakable, unbreakable, hatred, hatred. Unbreakable, 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 hatred, hatred, hatred. Okay. We went back to hating. Yep. It's like Joe being eliminated provided like, the, like it, it, it provided like a brief it's grace. The Nick team. The Nick team, whatever. Oh god, not again. Okay. <laughs> Challenge one, Mio will jump out of the plane, and so we'll do Finch Birds. Oh, the screaming, the, the screaming epics win the point. 
I mean, they have, they need a balance. Of, dude, that's funny. <laughs> out of out of these two, I would definitely expect Mio to win over Doofenshmirtz. Have you seen Have you seen all the stuff that the Doofenshmirtz went through though? He, he went crazy. Yeah, but he no. The point is, Doofenshmirtz would miss the couch and make it comically si like comically. He's like, like man, I will get you, bury the flappy boy. He'll he'll land into the ground and make like an a comical outline of himself in the ground instead of landing on the couch, and yet still like yeah. come out unscathed. Challenge fine, two. Don't worry about it. Pony competes for the Screaming Epics, and Miku competes for the Epic Bass. The Epic Bass win the point. All right. Ooh, it's a toss-up, and that was Drake. Drake and Mio compete for the Screaming Epics versus Two Chairs and Shrimple. Oh, don't... Are they, like, the two no! biggest haters? You've got to be kidding me. You've <laughs> got to be kidding me. Epic Bass leads 2-1, which means the Epic Bass win again. <laughs> Holy crap. No, he's oppressing them. Even... Oh, never mind. It's over for Drake. What do you mean it's- oh, oh no, they have a small fight. And they find something in comp- Oh, he it's just- a, just as he was impressing the team. Kony isn't even doing Drake because he hates him, he's just the least connected. Yeah. That's so like, unfortunate. Yeah, yeah. Drake is gonna like run up to me and like, Hey man, I know when that Halei bling, Kony needs to go. That can only mean one thing. That can only mean one thing. But I think, I think, I think he's screwed. This is the campfire ceremony. I have two marshmallows. If I call your name, you are safe and you could get your marshmallow. Mio is safe. And... Drake! Oh, he's a zombie dude. He's, he, he's like surviving. He's like undead. How did Drake convince her? Because he's Drake. That's what happens now. They can't barely vote each other out in the camera. <laughs> I guess not. Two to eight. Oh, okay. The twist. Okay, no. Really? Okay. We're, we're done. <laughs> the thieves are done. <laughs> it doesn't even change anything. Just Drake, Drake. It's just putting Drake and Vio at the bottom <laughs> down here. All campers may have made the jury, and teams will become one next episode. Cabins have also been reassigned randomly. They will compete in a food-related reward challenge. Oh, so this is just team like a, a temporary... So this is a one-episode team remake. Okay, team one. Hatsune Miku, Doofitch Birds, Shrimple, Nostalgia Critic, and Transminion. And team two is Two Chairs, Drake, Foreman Pig, R Blue, and Mio. Nostalgia Critic and Shrimple feel mutual extreme hatred. Miku and Doofitch Birds... Uh, yeah, extreme... Okay, that, nothing's happening yeah. again. Who cares? Nothing, uh, nothing. Guys? What the hell is guys? What? what up, guys? The bunch of disgustingness. Brunch of disgustingness. Sorry. Another food challenge? Jesus. Throw at the nine rounds. Campers will be given a nine course meal of gross foods. Each dish could be better, worse, or just as gross than the previous. But all dishes are guaranteed to be gross. The first team to finish a dish wins that round. The team that wins the most rounds will spend two days at a local five-star resort where they'll be pampered and be given antibiotics against anything they may have caught while participating in the challenge. Two members of Team 1 fail to finish. Doofish, Mertz, and Shrimple? Two members Great. of... Great. No. Oh, oh, oh wait. never mind. Oh, team, team 2 score! Yay! They all finish? Damn. One member of Team 2 fails to finish. Uh, which means yeah, Team 1 now gets a point. Oh, okay, I see. Oh no, oh my god, dude. Oh wait. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, they all, they fail. all fail? <laughs> Jesus. Wait. And I think that's it then, right? Oh no, never mind, we're not done yet. Okay, it's 2-2. Two, two. I'll just five then. It's 2-2, two, two. it's 2-3. Two, wait a minute, does Team 2 win? Yeah. Nope, never no. mind. <laughs> it's 3-3. Three, three. I mean, no, I think that's oh. 9 actually. Four members of Team 1 fail to finish. So now yeah. it's 4-3. Yeah. Does that mean it's no over? More. No, one more. No. One member of Team 1 fails it's to over. finish. And it's over. Mio and Drake win a challenge! First time in forever. Trans Minion is impressing the rest of the team. Shrimple has a major meltdown. Dupage Words and Nostalgia Critic finds... Oh, wait a minute. No, I forgot. This isn't an elimination. This one didn't matter. It was just for, like, a, a, re a reward. Oh, this did not matter at all. Oh, no. Epic Base Alliance 3 dissolves. Oh, no. Uh, two chairs and Drake have a small fight. And they bond strongly. Okay. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait. What is this? The same alliance? Wait, this is the same thing. Oh, they're well, well, epic bass now, so it doesn't really matter. Oh, they're epic bass alliance now. Okay, let's proceed. The twist. Campers are in. Wait, what? Okay, wait, no, no, no. Okay, no, something insane is happening. Holy crap! Yeah, I just okay. Camp... Holy crap! Campers are informed that all teams are officially dissolved, and that it's every camper for themselves. Okay, I gotta- I gotta play this up. Back by popular audience demand, it's Rick, 
Harrison. Woo! He Let's has go. returned to the game. But wait, there's more. Also returning to camp, it's Cody. That just he wasn't. <laughs> oh my god, I couldn't. I, I, I couldn't if it was. <laughs> okay, wait. He was just eliminated like two episodes ago. Yeah. What was the point? I mean, I guess it led to Drake surviving. So I think it's. So, we, so, we, got, so we got like the two best guys here. He took. Yeah, this is actually the best case scenario for returning players. Now it's down to. Is this our top 14. twelve? This is our top twelve. Oh yeah, twelve. Never mind. I'm stupid. Two chairs. Coney. Drake. Foreman Fig, Green Lantern Blue from Rio, Hatsune Miku, Doofenshmirtz, It's as Shrimple as That, Mio, Nostalgia Critic, Rick Harrison, and Trans Minion. Okay, so all the all the alliances are going strong so far. Hey, they got back together. Oh, how cute. Didn't Mio vote out Kony and or yep. Drake though? You know, we're not, we're gonna ignore that. We're gonna ignore that. No pain, no gain. In random order, campers will have to spin the wheel of misfortune to determine what torture they must endure. If a camper backs down on a torture or is unable to last 10 seconds, they are eliminated. If a camper passes their torture, they move to the next round. If a camper can pass their torture without complaining, they could choose the next camper and the torture. But if their victim succeeds, they are eliminated. When only two remain, if the next camper passes their torture, they win the, the challenge. Otherwise, the other camper wins. The camper who lasts the longest wins invincibility and a luxurious trailer to take home. By the, at the end of the song. Mio gets the torture. Ma marshmallow waxing. The camper must have their face waxed using melted marshmallows. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. She fails to complete her torture and is eliminated. Drake gets the next torture. Tickle onslaught. Or, or Tickle one. onslaught. Are you kidding me? <laughs> the camper must endure one minute of constant tickling. He passes and moves on. This doesn't seem fair. Foreman Pig gets the next torture. Goo shoes. The camper must wear shoes filled with mystery goo. He, how do you fail that? What? The, how do you? Ten seconds of wearing a goose shoe. Really? All right. Tony gets the next torture. Kangaroo. The camper must sit in a in the pouch of a kangaroo. He passes the torture and moves on. Transmeaning gets the next torture. Ghost pepper taste pet test. The camper must eat a ghost pepper and chew it. He fails to complete her torture and is eliminated. Wah wah. Brutal. Shrimple gets the next torture. Wooden shorts. The camper must wear wooden shorts while a woodpecker pe pecks away at them. They fa they, they fails. <laughs> they fails to complete their torture and is eliminated. Yellow jacket. Oh no. The camper must have his or her front covered in bees. They fails to complete their torture and is eliminated. Miku beratement. The camper must listen to Chef berate them. She passes. What the? Ooh, this doesn't that's seem very fair. Oh, yeah. Rick Harrison, voice to self. The camper must listen to their own voice. He oh, like, easier. Yeah. That's what I can do with $5. Yeah. I really like this guy. Ice cream brain freeze. The camper must eat a large tub of ice cream for Duper. Well, oh, uh, you actually have the snacks. It's going to be like going on a one week long vacation or something like that. Literally. He fails. Come on. Nostalgia Critic gets the next one. Lake leeches. The camera must sit in a barrel full of water and lake leeches. He passes his torture without complaint? How do you do that? That means he gets to choose who's next, right? The Celtic yep. Critic chooses Poison Green Lantern Blue. Watching. Poison Ivy. He fails to complete his torture and is eliminated. Uh, Drake, uh, on, dude. nose hair pull. Oh my god. Oh, well, that's all their nose hair. That's probably hurting. Yeah. He passes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Coney. You smell the camper must stick his or her head inside the kitchen garbage. That doesn't seem that bad. He passes and moves on. The camper must be defibrillated with two electric eels. What is wrong with this show? <laughs> hair salon. The camper must get a haircut with a chainsaw. He passes his yeah. torture. Well, it's not that hard. Dude, look his head. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, he it's passes. Like it's, it's, it's like a light trim on his, on, on his first beard. Literally, just easy. make it a little shinier. The camper must be wrapped tight by a snake. Okay, so he almost dies. Yep, and he fails. All right, Drake oh, gets I mean, the next torture. The camper must lay down on a bed of spikes. Dude. But no, there's a whole thing about spike beds where they, they don't hurt if you lay on them, right? Oh, yeah. I remember that. When he gets the, list, the next torture, grizzly bear log roll. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> The camper must survive in a game of log roll against Molotov the Bear, a performer with the Russian National Circus who has been the European log rolling champion for the past 12 years. Of course he fails, jeez. So it's down to Rick Harrison and Drake. Rick Harrison gets the final torture. Water balloon headshots. The camper must take water balloons to the face. 
You failed. You failed. You failed. <laughs> it's probably, it's probably like this thing exploded or something like that. Maybe I, Drake wins. Ow. <laughs> Tony and Shrimp will have a major fight, lasting impact, oh. and a minor disagreement. Who's targeting who? Let's see. Miku is targeting Doofenshmirtz for extremely despising him. Target, two chairs is targeting Shrimple. Trans minion targets Mio. What the hell did? What the? What did me? Okay, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm just too used to everyone loving Mio. Okay, so first up, we ran out of marshmallow. I reviewed the boats, and I have to say, there's lots of hate on in this group, which is awesome. While I normally protect your privacy in the spirit of airing your dirty laundry, I'm gonna go live with your confessionals. There's confessionals. The votes are revealed to- Oh, so we see who everyone votes for. Two chairs voted for it's triple as that. Tony over for him. Coney voted for it's as triple as that. Drake oh, voted no. for Rick Harrison. Foreman Pig voted for Doofishbirds. Blue voted for Shrimple. Miku voted for Doofishbirds. Doofishbirds voted for Shrimple. Shrimple voted for Doofishbirds. Mio voted for Doofishbirds. Oh. Nostalgia oh, Critic no. voted for Doofishbirds. Rick voted for Doofishbirds. Franz Minion voted for Doofishbirds. I think Doofishbirds is out. Yeah, he's up. Do must walk the dock of unepicness and board the boat of losers. Breakable, extreme hatred, unbreakable, unbreakable, unbreakable. Okay, not much hating anymore. Lucky key hunt. Campers must search certain areas on the island for keys that will unlock different treasure chests which contain different rewards and punishments, including invincibility. Before the challenge begins, campers each pull their own plank out of a bucket. Each plank depicts the location of a key. The campers have until 6 p.m. EST, thanks for specifying, to get their keys. When time has run out, campers can open their treasure chest, but some keys do not match any of the treasure chests. So you get screwed. Wow. Trans minion wins an accordion. Nostalgia critic wins a gift bas basket, which also contains invincibility. Okay, so... So yeah, that's it. You don't, we don't have to go through the rest of this. See the targets? Two chairs is targeting trans minion. Oh, okay. He's they're still transphobic. That's nice. Rick Harrison considers Drake a huge threat. <laughs> I think it's triple. <laughs> they were almost out last time. I have ten marshmallows. Let's see who's safe. Nostalgia critic is invincible, of course. And then first safe in voting is Mio, Rick, Blue, Two Chairs, Foreman Pig, Pony. It is down to Drake, Miku, Shrimple, and Trans Minion. Miku is safe. Trans Minion is safe. Drake, Drake's already back in the bottom too, that's crazy. And Drake is safe. Meaning it's as shrimple as that is eliminated. Who could have seen it's that mutual. coming? Mutual, unbreakable relationship, unbreakable, 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 hatred, unbreakable, 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 unbreakable. Okay, only one hatred, only one hatred. We're doing better. Hide, seek, and run. The campers have 10 minutes to hide anywhere on the island. When the 10 minutes are over, Chef will start searching. What the hell? Jeez. Searching. If a camper is caught, they could try to escape to home base, but if Chef hits them with his water gun, a camper is eliminated and must help search for campers. Campers can win invincibility by being the last camper still hiding, getting to home base after Chef finds them, or tagging any of their remaining hiding campers after being eliminating. Eliminate. Okay. Okay. Rick is found. Drake is found. But Drake makes it to oh. home base. Drake is invincible. Rick Harrison is shot by Chef's water gun and is. Are they like hiding together? Rick tags Green Lantern. Oh, oh, so Rick is safe. Transmission is found by Chef. Two chairs is found by Chef. Miku is found by Chef. Transmission is shot by Chef. Foreman Pig is found by Chef. Two chairs makes it to oh. home base without getting shot and wins invincibility. That's three people with invincibility now. Nostalgia Critic is found by Chef. Pony is found by Chef. Foreman Pig makes it to home base and gets him invincibility. Pony gets shot. Nostalgia Critic is safe. Mio is the last camper hiding and wins invincibility. All right. That's so many people. We got six invincibilers. Two chairs, Drake, Foreman Pig, Mio, Nostalgia Critic, and Rick Harrison. Rick considers Coney somewhat threatening, even though they both came back at the same time. Foreman Pig is targeting Miku because he hates her. Drake considers Trans Minion a threat. I have nine marshmallows, and there's only four people up for elimination. Jeez. So obviously, there are six people safe yeah. from the get go Rick, Drake, Mio, Foreman Pig, Two Chairs, and Nostalgia Critic. Which means our final four which are the four people up for elimination. Coney, Blue, Miku, and Trans Minion. Blue is safe. Miku is safe. Means it's down to Coney and Trans Minion. Oh. And Coney is safe. The minion. I love the minions. I love the minions. Trans Minion must walk 
the dock of unepicness and bore the boat of losers. All right, that's our top nine now. One hatred. hatred, still one hatred. Okay, but everything else is unbreakable. Okay, everyone loves each other, jeez. The pretty cruel bike race. In another cruel twist, campers are told that while the first racing camper who crosses the finish line wins invincibility, the last racing camper will be automatically it's eliminated. No Drake. It's Drake, no Drake is Drake. no, he won the last challenge. If a racing camper's bike is destroyed during this part of the race, they're technically not included and therefore cannot be eliminated. Damn. So <laughs> the strategy. No, I to drive myself into the landline. Literally, the and landline. then and then you're at least only up for elimination. Nostalgia Critic rides Coney's bike. Mio rides Drake's bike. Foreman Pig sele se selects Blue's bike. Blue selects Rick's bike. Drake's okay. Wait, he might be done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's chairs. You literally, bro. You, you, you literally picked a bike me by chairs. You, and you're going to be They picked a chair. They picked a, no, a, no, they picked the, the, the bike made by a construction worker. Yeah, and this builds are always stupid. Like, they, you can break one little block and it's over. Yeah, that's fair. And then Kony gets Mio's bike. Uh, and Miku gets Nostalgia Critic's bike. And Rick gets Miku's bike. I, I, thought, I thought we were done. <laughs> okay, part one oh. begins. Miku crosses the finish line in, in, in the bike made by this. Okay, so just pay attention to the first person. Rick Harrison okay. crosses the finish line. Foreman Pig crosses the finish line. Two Chairs crosses the finish line. Mio crosses the finish line. Blue crosses the finish line. Nostalgia Critic crosses the finish line. Pony fails yeah, to finish. Alright, so okay. he's, he's not gonna get eliminated. Yeah, Kony and Drake fail to finish in the bike made by two chairs. So, seven com- oh. Wait, what? Oh, oh, wait, so, the- Wait, what? Okay. I don't know how that like was- Like it is messed- Like it is messed up. I don't know whatever. how that was decided, but whatever. Drake finishes first! <laughs> of course he does. Alright, Nostalgia Critic finishes second. Kony finishes third. Go. Foreman Pig yes. finishes fourth. Rick Harrison finishes fifth. Green Lantern oh. Blue finishes sixth. Miku finishes seventh, which means Drake wins invincibility, and Miku gets eliminated. That's big. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, there's no campfire ceremony. Okay. So yeah, it's just Miku's out. So Drake just means invincible for the next round? I guess. Yeah, what the why does it matter if Drake's invincible? <laughs> unbreakable, unbreakable, unbreakable. Hatred. Still one hatred between Nostalgia Critic and I, Two Chairs. Well, well, I just thought Two Chairs, and it's a hatred. <laughs> Hook, Line, and Screamer. After watching a horror movie, campers are led to believe they have been abandoned on the island due to an escaped psycho killer with a chainsaw and a hook being on the loose. Cam the last camper still alive wins invincibility, while the camper who does the worst job at surviving will be eliminated at the campfire ceremony. Okay, so it's another automatic elimination thing. Okay, Drake. What's your invincibility about? First camper like, killed is Foreman Pig. Wait, so does that mean he's out? It says the worst job at surviving, so maybe like he fought back. So maybe it's like the person who fights back the least. We'll see. Yeah. The second camper killed is Green Lantern Blue. Third is Two Chairs. Fourth is Rick. Dude. Fifth is Nostalgia Critic. Drake, Sixth, you better not. Sixth is Mio. Seventh is Cody. Drake is the last camper alive! <laughs> He's saying that invincibility for himself, though. Dude, Crazy. what is up with Drake? So, I'm telling you, the second he loses the game, it's over him. Yeah, no, he's so out. Was to vote for him. So now we get to find out who survived the least. Uh oh. Nostalgia Critic does the worst job at surviving. Nostalgia Critic must walk the dock of an epicness and board the boat of losers. He had a gun! <laughs> yeah. He has a gun! And he did the worst job? Is he stupid? L literally. Like, how many people here have weapons? Nope. Nope. Maybe. Nope. Yes. 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 No. Maybe, actually. He, he might have he used probably, he, probably, he probably has a gun in like, his pocket. Yeah. Unbreakable. Oh. Unbreakable. Everyone is still unbreakable. Wait, everyone's unbreakable now because there's no more hatred. There, nostalgia, yeah, oh. nostalgia Critic's gone. No more hatred. No, everyone is friends. Campers have eight hours to trap an animal and bring it back to the campfire unharmed. Before the challenge begins, campers take turns pulling slips of paper out of a hat to decide what animal they will be hunting. When the challenge starts, camper will campers will have one minute to collect as much equipment as they want. The first camper to bring their animal back wins a feast of all their favorite foods, while the loser must, que must clean the communal washrooms. Wait, no invincibility? Okay, whatever. No Bear. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Drake, yeah, no. Uh, <laughs> Foreman Pig brings the, back the deer first and wins a feast. Yippee! 
Ow. Freak brings back the bear. <laughs> Tony brings back the raccoon. Mio brings back the frog. Rick Harrison brings back the chipmunk. Uh, I think that means... Oh, no. Two... Okay, so... Green Lantern Blue brings back the duck, which means two chairs brings the beaver last and cleans the communal washrooms. Ow. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> the two chairs. Whatever. They are the washrooms. Whatever. Oh, but two chairs impresses the rest of the team by cleaning the washrooms. Right, who's targeting who? Fine, this is the first time we get to see someone targeting. It's been like two episodes. Former Pig hates Rick Harrison. And Rick what's Harrison... The point of the, what's the point of the invisibility? There was there no there wasn't an oh the two episodes again yeah no I don't know I I don't know I have six marshmallows everyone is up two chairs is safe blue is safe Oni is safe and Mio is safe Mio has never been in the bottom by the way yeah that might be but Drake has been <laughs> Drake has been in it every time I think this yeah. is it I think I think it's yeah, over it from... the first person safe out of Drake Foreman Pig of Rick Harrison is Foreman Pig no. And the last person safe is Drake. <laughs> this, this dude has pressed death like way too many dude, times. Dude, how does he keep doing it? <laughs> he's, he's like climbing out of it every single time. Rick Harrison must walk the dog of an epicness and board the boat of losers. He's, he's just comfy being the last marshmallow, though. What the hell? It's Drake like gets like only some people to hate him because he knows that the last marshmallow tastes the best. All right, top six. Unbreakable, unbreakable, unbreakable. Yeah, still love all around. Oh, okay. The triarm triathlon. The yapathon. Tri the yapathon. <laughs> the first pair consists of Coney and Foreman Pig. The second pair consists of Green Lantern Blue and Mio. And the third pair consists of Two Chairs and Drake. The challenge begins. All right. Blue and Mio win challenge one. Blue and Mio win challenge two. Mm. And by winning the first two points, they they ended the challenge early. So Green Lantern Blue and Mio win invincibility. Well, I think it's over Drake this time. I, I, I think so. I, I, hopefully. Oh, never mind. Oh, no. <laughs> you idiots. What a, you, get, you had a perfect out. You had a perfect scapegoat, but you had to fight now? Okay. Five marshmallows, of course, Blue and Mio are safe. So the first one who wasn't voted for, two chairs. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised. Pony. Okay, okay so finally out. Okay, despite cool. despite their fight, they're both safe. Dude, Drake, can you be helpful? The there's no, anymore. there's no way Drake. There's no way it's gonna be. There's, there's no way it's gonna be blue no this time. Way Drake convinces everyone to get Foreman Pig. The last person safe is. Foreman Fine. Pig. <laughs> we did it, right? <laughs> we did it. Anyway, he's been the last person in like the past like 10 games. After like five episodes, five eliminations in a row of being in the top two, Drake must walk the dock of an epicness and board the boat of losers. Okay, he has 250 million net worth. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he just did for some giggles. Oh, wait, what? The twins. The losers. The losers. Okay, we got. We're all back. We have to do this all over again. <laughs> the losers. Okay. Oh my god, I forgot Homer was here. <laughs> like I, I remember. I re no, I remember. I remember oversimplified, even though it's, he was it's, first. It's, 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 it's made a funny bit at the end. He's like, no, 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 oh, no. Maybe, but Homer, I completely forgot. The losers. Okay, out of these campers, well, all of them, I guess. The losers reveal their opinions on the remaining campers. There is no jury. All 17 losers will vote out one of the final five campers. So it's their choice. Let's see. Drake votes for Foreman Pig. Miku votes for Foreman Pig. Doofitch votes votes for Foreman Pig. Homer, come on, do it, do it. Yeah, do let's it, go, dude. let's go, let's go. Okay, Homer votes for two chairs. Shrimple votes for two chairs. Jacko Jack Chico voted for you. Mio. Hey, what are you doing? This is, this is, I think this is like the first vote Mio has ever gotten. Joe voted for two chairs. Marshadow voted for Foreman Pig. Nostalgia Critic votes for two chairs. Oversimplify votes for two chairs. Rick Harrison votes for Foreman Pig. Sephiroth also votes for Mio. What a wasted vote. Squidward and, hey, and we're good. I think we're good. Squidward and <laughs> vote for two chairs. Star votes for Mio. Transminion votes for two chairs. Watch Mojo votes for Mio. After tallying up the score. It was very close between two campers, but unfortunately, two chairs is eliminated. Fortunately. Yeah, fortunately. I, 
I gotta pretend to be unbiased, but. Are you like, oh no. Oh, oh no. no. Greens are at the top four. Pony, the, 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 green, the greenies are winning. <laughs> the greenies are so winning, bro. All right, alliances. We got two alliances. Oh, it's a 2v2. But this alliance is a little less stable. This one only has a loyalty of eight. Relationships, I think, yeah, everyone everyone is friends. Break the ball and break the break the Oh, break no, never ball. mind. Medium Both, dislike. Medium dislike and only a medium bond. A, and, okay, okay, things, things. Okay, people don't like me forming Baker Coney anymore. Finding your way. After waking up in the middle of a forest, the campers are informed by Chef that in pairs, they must navigate their way north back to camp. Before they begin, each pair is given a bag containing everything they'll need except food. The first pair to find their way back to camp and touch the totem pole wins invincibility. The first pair is Coney and Foreman Big, and the second pair is Blue and Mio. Blue and Mio win invincibility. <laughs> Green Lantern and Mio bond slightly. And Coney and Mio bond slightly. Okay, it might be over Even for more. Foreman Big. Yeah, I guess. Alright, of course, Mio and Blue win invincibility. Yep, yeah, and Coney. Oh, okay. oh. <laughs> oh wait, what? Oh, they don't vote. Oh, no. The chef will oh, eliminate. Oh yeah, we yeah, oh, yeah, can't vote. The chef will eliminate either Coney or Foreman Pig. The third marshmallow goes to Coney. Okay, I thought that was who he was choosing. Yippee! Thank God, get him out of here. Foreman Pig is eliminated. Greenies are, are finally done. Dude, they went from only having two members on their team to being in the top three. Yeah, it's crazy. The, the screaming epics have t ha are taking the majority now. It's down to Coney, Green Lantern Blue, and Mio. I triple, I triple dog, dog dare you. Due to the producers running out of insane ways to torture the remaining campers, they turn to the Outstead campers for ideas. In this challenge, each camper will take turns spinning a bottle that is attached to a board. Whichever Outstead campers face the bottle stops on determines the dare the camper will perform. If the camper takes their dare, they win a get out of dare freebie. The camper can also inflict the dare onto another camper with the goal of eliminating them. But if the dared can't be if the dared camper has a freebie, they can use it. At any time campers give each other freebies if they choose to. If a camper refuses to do a dare, they will be automatically eliminated from the challenge and the game. Okay, the loser of this is out, so there's no votes. Tony gets a dare from Nostalgia Critic to submerge himself into a pool of each. We already did that one, bro. Yeah. Pony passes the dare to Mio, okay. Submerge yourself in a pool of leeches. Mio completes the dare. Dare two. Green Lantern Blue. Cover your front and bees. <laughs> this is the same stuff as the torture one. Yeah. Does Blue complete the chat? No, he passes it to Mio again. This is so mean. Uh, Mio completes the dare. Mio gets a dare from Foreman Pig. Fight an Fight alligator. Fight an alligator. Mio passes the dare to Green Lantern oh, Blue. It's over for him. Nobody's gonna do it. Green Lantern Blue from Rio completes the dare. Tony versus Hatsune Miku. Chew your, your own tail, own Tony, nails. slowly. Tony completes the dare to get a get out of dare freebie. Yay! Green Lantern Blue from Rio gets a dare from Doofenshmirtz. Wear a baby outfit. Wear a baby outfit. He passes the dare to Tony. Why? Tony uses a freebie. <laughs> Why would the you? The scariest thing ever. <laughs> you actually have the dare that the dude fought an alligator. <laughs> Mio gets a dare from Homer. Eat dog food. Eat dog food. He would say that. <laughs> Why did you pass it to Cody? <laughs> That's so mean. Cody refuses the dare and is eliminated. Cody loses and he must walk the dock of, of unepicness and board the boat of losers. Hey, top three after getting eliminated before yeah. is not bad. Oh, events? Aw. Oh. <laughs> it's so over. Why? Why? Did you give him the dare after bonding strongly? Oh. Uh, yeah. That's it. This is it. The final two campers of Total Epic Island. Green Lantern LA. Blue from Rio and Mio. Oh yeah, all previously eliminated campers will cheer for a side. Green Lantern Blue from Rio has 10 support. Why? Oh yeah, no, she made you eat dog food. Yeah. <laughs> they were like best friends the whole game, and now he's on his side. Crazy trick. And... Wait, I mean... <laughs> oh my god. It's not mutual. It's not mutual. <laughs> Drake, Miku, Dupagebrotz, Homer, Shrimple, Joe, Marshadow, Nostalgia Critic. It's... Didn't Sephiroth hate Neo before? Whatever. Probably. A final challenge of total epic island. 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 I gotta say it. Okay. Total epic island. Wow. Wow. 
the final two campers must compete in three parts which were supposedly pitched to the Olympic Committee but rejected as an Olympic sport. One camper must wear a chicken hat while the other must wear a cow hat. First, campers must run to the first location and shimmy up a pole to retrieve a flag. Then they must cross a 300 meter balance beam suspended across a massive gorge with man-eating fresh water fresh water sharks below. I don't think that exists, but whatever. While carrying an eagle egg. Finally, once across, it is a long distance run to the finish. Along the way, the cheering campers can help who they're rooting for. The first camper to reach the finish wins Total Drama Island and uh, one million dollars. They put the number wrong. One million, million, billion, billion, zillion dollars. Green Lantern Blue from Rio and Mio compete. What do you mean? Of course they compete. <laughs> You stupid. Green Lantern Blue for Mio wears the chicken hat, which means Mio wears the cow hat. The challenge begins. Mio retrieves the flag. The Green Lantern Blue receives the flag. No way. Mio makes it across the bridge with an eagle egg. Oh, okay, it's over. Mio crosses the finish <laughs> with that. What a wash. Which yeah. means the winner of Total Epic Island is Mio. Me. B. I won. <laughs> <laughs> the, the O just cut out every time, so I've just been saying me. Congratulations, Bio. You are the winner. You will receive a $1 million check. $1 million, million, billion dollars. One million billion dollars. Congratulations to Mio from Xenoblade Chronicles 3 for winning the million. Now this whole thing looks super raved, considering that Xenoblade 3 is my favorite game of all time on top of the fact that this video is being released on Xenoblade 3's two-year anniversary. I swear both of these were coincidences, especially the two-year anniversary thing, because this was recorded like months ago and I plan on releasing it far earlier than this, which is why there's like a six-month gap between videos, but whatever. Hope you enjoyed Total Epic Island, and like I asked last time, leave some characters you'd like to see in this epic series I have going in the comments below. I have some more of these planned, like I said, some hopefully being a little shorter than this. So yeah, like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video, hopefully. <laughs>